Yo, what is going on everybody? Today, I am still rocking the dreadlocks, but I'm filming this intro actually after the fact. So you can see that I still have everything in and I'm super stoked on that. But in today's video, I am gonna be swimming and at first, like I really didn't wanna swim just because I didn't want my dreadlocks to come out because these are brand spanking new. And I'm not gonna lie, just a quick update, I'm really enjoying this whole process because it reminds me back when I started my dreadlocks initially. And that was over four years ago and it's kind of that same experience and the same feeling. So it's really cool to feel the same way or go through the same thing again. But I would say that it is a big difference at the same time just because I'm doing twisting versus, you know, using crochet needle and, you know, doing sponge rub and everything like that. But in today's video, I did go swimming. Like I said, I didn't want to swim at first, but when it comes to the summertime, especially living in Phoenix, Arizona with 115 degree weather, you want to swim. We went to a party, it was actually my buddy Jordy's birthday and everyone was swimming. I wanted to swim, I love swimming, especially, like I said, living in Phoenix, Arizona. I wanted to swim. So this video is for all those people out there that don't know if they can swim with new dreadlocks. Like I'm talking, you know, maybe a week old, maybe a month old. I would say even, you know, six months, maybe even up to a year because it does, from my experience, take probably about an entire year for your hair to fully mature and lock up. But this is just one step of the whole process and I wanted to try it out, I was a bit, kind of shaky about it because I I was like 100% sure that my dreads were going to fall out. So enjoy the video. You'll see the whole process and kind of my thoughts towards swimming with brand spanking new dreadlocks. Yo guys, I wanted to make a quick video on swimming with like literally new, brand spanking new dreadlocks. So these are starter locks, I've only had them for three days, started them two days ago. I'm at a party and I didn't want to like not have fun or enjoy myself. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to swim today. So I swam and I'm swimming right now and I was like, you know what, screw it. I wasn't at first going to get my head in and like I didn't want to mess up my hair, but it's actually still intact. I am going to do like a light retwist after this, but it's actually staying in really well. I'll show you guys what it looks like afterward, like after the whole party and everything. But as far as right now, I just did it in a bun and it's staying really well. So this is working for me. But I know other people that wear like do rags or wave caps to actually hold their hair in, or you can wear like some sort of head wrap. But I just have a bun in. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is working really well. I'm actually really stoked that it's staying in because I remember. When I initially started locking my hair, my hair fell out, like my dreadlocks fell out instantly when I got in the shower and I had them in for two weeks. And that was with sponge rub and doing twisting and everything like that. But these are actually staying in. I think it helps that they're a little longer, but I think there's a lot that goes into it. But don't be scared if it's summertime and people are swimming and you want to swim, swim. Don't hold back just because of your hairstyle or anything like that. Hopefully that encourages you. There's probably a whole other like video attached to this, but this is like the main subject of the video is that have fun if it's summertime. Here's Kellen. What's up, y'all? Yeah. How's time going? It's going great, and it just started. Yeah. But everything's going great, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my time, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. So we just got back from swimming. Whole bunch of fun. We had, like, like I said, like, if you have certain locks or you have a certain hairstyle that is restricting you from having fun, forget about everything else and just have fun but I'm actually just gonna grab my do-rag because I've been sleeping with it lately I never ever slept with a do-rag with my dreadlocks before but I have been doing it lately because these are super new like 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 I said these are only like three days old it is cool documenting the whole process I'm actually gonna have Candace here help me with you know shaping these up if they like kind of unraveled at any points but I'm just going to take my hair down really fast right now and show you guys what I'm working with. And I'm going to have Candace help me film that because I did like tie it up a lot so that it doesn't come out. So once she frees up some space on her hands because she's taking her hair out of braids right now. But I'll show you guys the whole process of what it looks like afterwards and kind of update you on, you know, how everything looks after a day of swimming with only having three day old uh, dreads. So I'm just gonna take my hair down really fast and then this is probably like the tightest I've ever done my hair just cause I really didn't want it to fall out. Cause I know 
uh, doing like bun sometimes, like even if I do it pretty tight, it'll still fall out when swimming. Like dang, I don't even know how to take this out. You gonna try to take this out? Mm -hmm. That'd be great. I need you to go down. I am. Okay guys, I really need help because that wasn't really the move. They actually look like they stayed in really well. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think the water, like if you don't mess with it while it's underwater, your hair kind of just coils up naturally. Um, as long as your hair has like a coiled hair pattern, then you should be straight. But I'm just making sure that like the roots didn't unravel. That's the most important part. Because the tips will eventually lock up first. That's how it always goes. But what Kenneth is doing right now, she's going to quickly just um, twist them. So I'll tell you one thing that I have noticed is over the days, my hair is actually laying down better in like every direction versus it laying down just in one direction. Because at first, the way that I twisted it, and this always happens for all of you who do retwist or twist your hair, that the way you twist your hair and the way you lay it down when you twist it is the way it typically lays for quite a while. But surprisingly, they actually lay down pretty well in every direction right now. And that's just one of those things that over time with the maturity, especially after they actually lock up, because these are nowhere near actually being locked up. But with twisting and then going through the budding stage and then actually locking up, which is probably like, you know, honestly, like a year process, I would say six months at the least without doing any extra maintenance as far as like crochet hooking or interlocking. Um, if you want these to fully lock up, it's going to be about a year. So it's a full commitment and it's a main, like you have to maintain the whole time. I think being able to maintain your hair or actually take care of it is the actual fun part or the part that you really will enjoy because when you get to the point where your hair is fully locked up, there's not really much you can do besides like different hairstyles or trying different products. But when it comes to maintaining them or starting them out, there's a whole process that goes into play. The baby. That, yeah, it's like you actually get to form them and make them look as best as you possibly can or make them look the way you want them to look. Because once they're teenagers, they're just there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once they're already formed, like Kenneth kind of said, like they're, che they're teenagers, so it's like everything they've learned or everything that you put into them, it's like they're already set in place to act and be however you created them to be. But overall, they look really good. I'm actually really surprised because, I mean, I told you guys before, I, when I started my Drillax the first time, I started them and I had them in for two weeks. I remember I did like slightly crochet hooking. I did a little bit of it and maybe like maybe one, two days, one or two days with maybe like two sessions or something like that each day, maybe. But either way, I like washed my hair and all of my hair fell out or all my dreadlocks fell out and it was not fun. So I'm super surprised that these stayed in because it's only been three days, like I said. So it is interesting because I'm doing like almost the opposite than when I did the beginning last time when I started my uh, dreads the first time. Because the first time all I did was towel rub and then eventually did crochet hooking and then did twisting with gel and then did interlocking. Like I did so much. And this one, this time just choosing one method and sticking with it, it's really interesting because you don't have to worry about trying to speed up the process or doing something else. Um, or worrying about like what other method you can do to help out. It's like you just focus on the same method the whole time and you see how that method plays out and works with your hair. So it's pretty interesting. And the way Candace is twisting this is how I would twist it myself. It's not putting too much tension on the scalp because if you put a bunch of tension on the scalp, I mean, that's really not good. It's not healthy for your scalp because you're gonna have a bunch of like, you know, sort, I don't know what you would call it, like a bunch of like, like yeah, like inflamed follicles or, you know, your, your scalp is going to, yeah. So it's basically swelling of the scalp or whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, all that's unnecessary. Just be patient and I always say just enjoy the process of everything. But everything's looking really good still. Ooh. One thing that I'm noticing is like after... You're cute. Yeah, <laughs> I am pretty cute. But after, you know, sleeping in these and like having a do rag on, they appear a little longer. Not longer, but they're hanging a little bit better, which is really cool. I'll show you guys me putting on the do rag. I'm gonna rag up for y'all real quick. Yeah, watch out, see the link. Oh, I guess I'll show you guys 360 real quick before I get suited up. 
for nighttime. So it's looking, it's pretty cool. Like I can already see the maturity taking place, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna suit up. I'm actually gonna look too, cause I wanna see. I'm interested. Yeah, they're laying down a whole lot better. Cause they were looking pretty goofy earlier. I'm not gonna lie. You know what time it is? Taking off the glasses because one of these days I'll take them off and never put them back on. I'm believing for full recovery. <laughs> when, like yesterday I was thinking, I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to look at the moon and not have to see a glare off my glasses. Cause like I can look at the moon with my glasses off, but obviously I can't see it. I could, I see like three of them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but when I put my glasses on, I can see the moon clearly, but there's a glare, like because of my glasses. So I was like, context may be cool. Hey, hey, we're in there. Once they're in, kind of like give them a tug so that they're all extended in there, cause you don't want them to clump up, especially if you have like a full head of dreads or something. With that, just get a head wrap. So yeah, it's, that's the video. Moral of the story, have fun in the summer. Don't worry about trying to keep your hair 100% looking good all the time. There's gonna be times where you wanna swim or you wanna like have fun and enjoy yourself, but there are ways to protect it. Like you can hop in the pool with a do-rag or a wave cap or something like that and keep your hair compressed so that it doesn't move and have a bunch of motion. But what I did is I just did a really, really, really tight bun so that none of the hair moves as well and it turned out really good. Like you see how they didn't really come out. There was one that slightly came out, but that's the one that has been coming out lately. And it all just takes time. It's only been three days and this is really cool to be able to swim and have them not come out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.